Welcome back to Chupacabra's Punk Variety Show. This week, if Jason Voorhees was a punk vocalist. <laughs> Cryptids, the Chupacabra has returned, and today is another installment in my School of Punk music education series, I guess. Um, today I'm doing what I said would be one of my uh, reviews on a band that I've listened to, an uh, underground band that I think deserves more exposure, and so I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about them. Before I go on, a uh, quick announcement, I have a Twitter now, so um, someone mentioned it in the Discord. Uh, because they want to send me pictures for the music video that I'm making. The music video, I'm still taking pictures because I don't have enough yet. So don't be shy if you have a picture you want to send me. I'm doing a music video of one of my songs. And I want the, I want the video to be a montage of pictures of my subscribers. So if you have one of you in your punk rock clothes, you holding your cat, you playing your instrument, whatever you want to do, send it my way and I'll put it in the video. So uh, you can send it to me in the Discord and just, you know, message me directly through Discord. Uh, you can send it to me over Instagram. You can send it to me over Twitter now if you want to. So uh, I ask that the pictures be in the orientation of my videos, you know, horizontal, so that they fit the screen. Otherwise, I'd have to crop them. And I don't want to have to crop the picture that you guys took. I want, you know, someone to be able to see the whole picture. But anyways, on with the video. So a little while back, closer to the beginning of my channel... I think it was around the time of the first live stream. I got in touch with this dude from um, the UK. His name's Max. And he told me, hey, if you dig like techno punk, which I had never heard about before, but it sounded awesome. He told me, check out my band. We're called the AIDS Grenades. And I was first of all like, whoa, that's a fucking awesome name. And so I checked them out, listened to everything they have on their band camp, which is like, they've got two, two or three albums, some singles, some EPs. And I tell you, it is fucking awesome stuff. So today... I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it, you know, my opinions, what I think it sounds like, uh, why I like it, and then I'm going to link all their stuff down in the description. So, I go into the band camp, and the description says that it is scummy cunt rock from the UK, which, you know, honestly is the best possible description anyone could have come up with, because that is exactly what it is. There's like, there's guitar, there's, there's guitar and drum elements, uh, in some songs more than others, and in some songs it's just guitar, like there's one uh, album that's like, acoustic uh an acoustic ep but mostly and this is he said that this is because he was inspired by these three bands mostly it's it's uh like like techno stuff you know like synthesizer uh techno sound i don't, I don't know anything about techno music so i don't know what kind of stuff he used but it's it's like it's techno stuff you know with like a punk rock th punk rock themes and so it's like it sounds to me like if the Matrix was malfunctioning, you know, that's what it sounds like. It's fucking awesome. It's like, um, if you like Alien Sex Fiend, or if you like Rob Zombie, or if you like that kind of stuff, you might like this. And there is, like, there's the, like, horror, horror horrific punk themes, and, like, the techno stuff sounds all distorted and crazy, and it's fucking awesome. I, di I dig the fuck out of that. Um, if I'm ever in, if I ever go to the UK, I would love to see them, you know, playing or whatever they do. And, uh, I'm going to go back and listen to it because this is fucking awesome shit. Um, honestly, that's, that's really all I can say about it. I know it sounds like it sounds different because it was definitely different to me when I first heard about it. Like techno punk, like what is that? But I went to listen. Honestly, it works. Don't let the word techno spook you. Uh, if there are any purists among you it's it is legit like fucking awesome music it is like in your face it's like it's an attack it is a like audio attack to the ears of just like crazy ass computer noises and murderous robots and fucking awesome lyrics and shit like that and like there's like the harsh hardcore vocals in some songs and some songs even have like guttural vocals with like like a uh, death metal music has which I was very surprised by, and I was I was very pleasantly surprised to hear that. Um, <laughs> there's a fucking uh, cunt rock remix of a Miley Cyrus song, which I thought was pretty cool. It actually sounds really good. Um, and I think my favorite album, 
that I listened to out of all those has to be like, I don't know if this is the first full length because one of them is a compilation, but then their, their album that was my favorite is Featherless Biped, which for those of you who don't know is a reference to Diogenes, the only philosopher that matters. <laughs> so if, you, if, if that interests you and I heavily like suggest that you check these guys out, uh, I'm going to put all their stuff down in the description. He sent me links to their song whip, which has all of their like sharing websites, like their Spotify, their Apple Music, uh, their YouTube, all that stuff. I'm going to put all that down in the description. And uh, he also said that he has a like side project called Croydon Tourist Office, which he says is more is a looser experimental band. And they've been compared to like the Velvet Underground. So I'm going to see if I can find that as well. I haven't had a chance to actually, you know, go digging around for that, but if I find that on Spotify or something, I'm gonna post it down below as well, so you guys can check that out. I think you guys really like it. I've talked to Max, he's a great guy, and his music is fantastic. And something else that he told me was um, that the techno punk scene is definitely something that you guys should also check out. He told me the name of three bands. They are Petrol Bastard, uh, Kurt Dirt, and Sid31. If I'm saying the, any of those wrong, I'm sorry. But those are bands that he said really influenced his style and made the band like sort of shift in their sound. Because like if you some of the stuff they have there, it sounds very much like your like you know traditional like hardcore punk sound. And then like at a certain point, it all shifts towards the techno stuff, and it's it's really fucking awesome. Both of them are fucking awesome. Uh, so just check out everything they have on there. You're bound to find something you like. And also he said that the scene, the techno punk scene itself, is also very open, which I love to hear because so many scenes, the metal scene, the punk scene, the goth scene, any like music scene, any scene at all, honestly, always has a few gatekeepers. But he said that he's spoken to guys from these bands and he's spoken to people who are part of this scene, the techno punk scene itself. And he has, he has yet to encounter anybody who's been elitist or who's gatekept and they were very open and that allowed him to get into it. And I hope that you guys can get into it. I mean, I, I don't know any techno punks around here, but maybe you do, maybe you can get into it online. I intend to, you know, check out these bands and stuff and check out what the scene has to offer. So honestly, just check it out. I love hearing about new bands, new music. This is a fucking powerhouse of a band that I just think you guys need to check out. I don't have any physical copies of their music. Uh, and I am probably like, I wish I could do like, uh, on my computer, do like a screen recording of me going through their website. Maybe I'll do that later. Um, uh, when I sort of, you know, upgrade my video making skills. Cause as of right now, I just do it on my fucking phone, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find some programs or something that allow me to do that on my computer. Uh, you know, as I go forward, cause I want to improve the quality of my videos, you know, for you guys. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. Uh, but that's all I got to say about that band. I mean, they're just fucking awesome. So check them out. Max, if you're watching this, thank you, man. Thank you for telling me about your band. Thank you for, you know, sharing your, uh, your thoughts on the scene and your music with me. Uh, I hope you and I can do a collab or something in the future. You're an awesome dude. And uh, to the rest of you, I'm going to put all the links of what I just talked about, including the three bands um, that he told me about down below. So uh, stay tuned for that. And well, you know, go down to the description and check that out. And um, in the meantime, I'll see you on the flip side.